Move on to the other news tonight. All of this as we are also following another fast moving and disturbing story tonight. The protests after the police shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The protests now turning deadly. A 17 year old from a neighboring state is now under arrest tonight, accused of firing on demonstrators. Two dead. And in a late development today, NBA players deciding not to come on the court for playoff games tonight, demanding something be done about these police shootings. Here's ABC's Alex Perez from Wisconsin. Tonight, this graphic video shows a man opening fire on a crowd in Kenosha, Wisconsin, shortly after another nearby shooting. As authorities brace for a fourth night of demonstrations in the wake of Jacob Blake's shooting by police. Officers are trying to disperse a crowd violating curfew Tuesday when the chaos spirals. A video showing a man running down the street with a firearm, a crowd chasing behind him. That man falls to the ground and begins shooting. Kenosha police saying two were killed and one was injured in shootings overnight and that a group of men, many armed, had been patrolling the area where the violence happened. Authorities in neighboring Illinois today arresting 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse to face, according to court documents, first-degree intentional homicide for his alleged role in the fatal shootings. Police saying the suspect was allegedly there to resolve whatever conflict was in place. I had a person call me and say, why don't you deputize citizens who have guns to come out and patrol the city of Kenosha? And I'm like, oh, hell no. The unrest comes after the police shooting Sunday of 29-year-old Jacob Blake. Videos appear to show Blake struggling with officers before getting up, walking around to the driver's side, appearing to lean in, and an officer pulls his shirt, shoots him in the back. Seven shots ring out. Blake's three boys, ages three, five, and eight, in the car. His family says he's in the ICU and paralyzed from the waist down, his mother demanding justice and peaceful protests. For anyone who's doing anything that is violent or destructive, please stop. I, I get your pain. I get your frustration. But please find another way. The governor of Wisconsin deploying 500 National Guardsmen and local authorities pushing curfew earlier to 7 p.m. President Trump tweeting he will be sending federal law enforcement to restore law and order, but the administration offering no specifics. And David, former Vice President Joe Biden also reacting on Twitter, saying the shooting of Jacob Blake makes him sick and condemning the violent demonstrations. Some good news from Blake's family. They say there is a chance in the future he could regain the use of his legs. David. All right, Alex, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.